backup solution. Historically, we had specialized in a file and folder program that was really great for individual workstations and laptops, which currently is estimated as holding 60% of a business's data. So despite our efforts to have terminal services set up, uh, regular routines to sync data to a central point that your IT managers or, or you yourselves can uh, actually monitor and manage, 60% of, of a business's data on average still resides on the extremities of a network. So historically our file and folder program did very well because it was very secure and very simple to use so you could hit these extremities. What we did when designing this new server safe program is we wanted to truly provide our partners with the ability to offer a true BDR solution. Uh, BDR historically has uh, had kind of a misused definition as an image-based backup and image-based recovery method. But anytime you use the word solution, or business disaster recovery solution especially, it needs to have more attention to all the different risks involved in data loss. That means not just a simple strategy, or not a single strategy rather, in just image-based backup and just image-based recovery. With the SOS Service Safe program, we're now giving you a suite of services that allow you to hit every part of your network. So if we go back to the slide before, we can see that we're giving you a full 360 degree solution for your clients uh, from backing up information from the cloud. Uh, you know, every time there's a big global event like the World Cup nearly shut down the Twitterverse for a little bit, people lost followers, they lost their messages, their message history, uh, and social mediums are being used by businesses as a, as a 101 getting started as a business these days. Uh, Forbes just put out a, a you know, step, step one, two, three, and four to get your business out there and build your brand, and it included Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. How do you back this information up? Just because it's, on the, it's in the quote-unquote cloud doesn't mean it's secure and it's going to be there forever. So SOS is providing right now a way to back up Facebook information. Uh, next, we're going to be hitting into LinkedIn, Twitter, Gmail and so forth. So over the next three, six, nine months, you're going to see a lot coming out. Uh, backing up your desktop, again, hitting the extremities of your network, laptops, mobile devices, you know, using the iPhone application or the Droid application to actually back up information from your mobile device to the cloud and also to access your information from the cloud. And then what we've done with Service Days is instead of just being a, a complement to what's already existing in your average SMB, which is typically some type of image-based system. Now we have our own image-based system that will allow you not only to run those images locally and restore locally, but you can also put them to the cloud with our service, which has been uh, a big, which has required a big improvement both in infrastructure and storage costs to now change the dynamic of what do we back up online? Before it was, well, a few important people need to have an online backup account now this is something you can spread across your whole business, which is what Shailen was referring to earlier. Uh, just as a, just a quick survey, uh, we find that most SMBs have some sort of hardware-based quote-unquote BDR system, an image-based backup and recovery that's local. And they have been evaluating some sort of cloud-based solution whether it's just at one workstation or one or one server, but they haven't really moved into it. Is that pretty standard for what everyone's working with? Are all of you working with SMBs between you know, five and 50 users? Some consumers here and there? And as those questions uh, move in, if we can go to the next slide that describes the program. Uh, when we go down the list here, we have the Premier Web Integration Package which is really some, and, the, and the, the Pulse Centralized Management, which is really part of the partner program that allows for a true, true entry into this market. Uh, what we found previously was that, you know, the easy part is getting these services in place. Now, how are you going to bill for it? How are you going to track who's using it? Uh, do, you, can you, do you have support ticketing systems set up for this already? How do you, how do you implement that? And a lot of our partners were spending you know, two, three, even five months just setting these things up with web presence, e-commerce, that sort of thing. And now we've streamlined that with our web integration package that includes all these things for you. 
We have a couple of questions here. Uh, one's what about archiving? Archiving is something that we've never considered separate from backup. So we never purge data from our backup sets. It doesn't go away if it hasn't been updated in 30 days or if you have more than 30 versions. You can have as many versions as you like, and it's really nice. Um, we have a great feature within our standard file and folder program as well as image stream for your environmental images called SOS Timeline Recovery. And what that literally allows you to do is go back to a date, any date. Um, we do not limit how long you can go back. And choose files for recovery. So all of your versions of files will always be there. We truly offer unlimited, and I like to say infinite, archiving. Yeah. And those of you dealing with any financial firms or legal firms, uh, the our unlimited archiving is a huge, huge feature for them because most of their concerns of security is how long is this data going to stay there? We never purge data from our cloud. The customer would always be responsible to do that if they, if they so choose. And it doesn't affect how much storage they have. So if you have, again, with, uh, with the unlimited versioning feature, if you have a file that you're backing up and it changes every day, like your, say your Outlook PST file, and with our service, you can run it every hour, no problem, and it'll, it'll back it up because of the Delta level backup and that whole thing. But you may have hundreds of versions within the first few months of this two gig, let's say, PST file. But we're only going to count the largest version of that file against your subscribed cloud space. So this feature and and our policy of never deleting data is huge, huge, huge when it comes to those specific verticals with high security needs. Like Calvin mentions that he works with MetLife and Verizon, this would absolutely be attractive to them. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So when it comes uh, for those of you dealing with different verticals specifically, I would highly recommend when you go out here, uh, using the web integration package, there's a built-in HTML mailer where you can create different campaigns, upload subscriber groups. You just need, you know, just put your uh, contact list in a CSV file and you can upload it to the package. And you can run vertical specific campaigns so you can emphasize these different features. Because some of the things like the mobile access is going to be terrific for your laptop fleets and that sort of thing, but your doctor's offices really aren't going to have any need for something like that. You know, maybe if you have a hospice, you know, uh, nursing setup where you have people going back and forth from home, they may benefit from the laptop fleet discussion, but uh, it really allows you to specialize your marketing and your campaign and entry into the market without a whole lot of work. Again, we've streamlined entry into the market by having this web integration package and everything that we're providing in this program for you. And Calvin asks, where would I find that? So when you go to the web integration package and you log in, uh, it's just a system that's called Mailer. And we'll, we'll run through it. Should we, yeah. should we open it up now? Sure. All right, let me, let's just open it up real quickly so you can see what the basic skeleton is going to look like. So first, uh, our website here, sosonlinebackup.com, uh, it's good to be familiar with our website if you're planning on being one of our vendors or if you're just doing the evaluation. So we have SOS for Home, Business and Server Save, so you can go through all these. And then we have the reseller section up here. If we go through the reseller section, you can see a little more detail about what we're talking here. Um, and then also the webinars will give you recorded sessions So those of you asking about <clears throat> Uh, availability of recorded sessions, no problem. It's here on our website. So within the next you know, couple of days, this session will be put up. And if you go to support and then into the knowledge base, we have a whole section for our partner program, which goes through everything in here. So you know, what is the SOS web package? Getting started with it, you know, everything else. All these different questions you may have about it. Let's just open it up. The sample we have. <clears throat> So here's our faux partner, Acme Online Backup. So if you want to see, if you want the program deck, we put that up for download here. And then we also have some other studies that are available for download here. But if we log into the back end,
then we see we have our dashboard, and that can always minimize these options on the side. But it really gives you a lot working, or a lot to work with here. So we have different payment gateways you can that we already integrate with. So PayPal, PayPal Pro, and Authorize.net. So if you had one of those, you would just go into View Gateways. You select the one that you want to use. You plug in your credentials, hit Submit, and then you're good to start receiving money for accounts paid. The mailer is under this mailing section. So you would go to uh, you know, create a new subscriber group or view subscribers. And we could say, okay, well, let's import subscribers here. And again, it gives you instructions, just a CSV file, first column name, second column email, and you upload it here, and you pick the group that you want it to go to. So for instance, I put new accounting users. <clears throat> you hit import, and then you can use you know, different templates. You can view templates, edit. Basically, familiarity with Microsoft Office is going to let you do anything here, or you can just do it straight HTML if you like. So we let it be very uh, visual, or you can do it from from the back end for your more experienced uh, HTML coders. Um, we also have statistics. So once you send out a campaign, you know, what's the success of the campaign? And it'll show you emails that have bounced, your click throughs, emails sent, people who have unsubscribed from your emails. So it really lets you hit the ground running as far as getting additional campaigns together. Uh, those of you who have worked with other systems know that getting campaigns set up and getting the ability to track the success of campaigns is not a simple project. It, it takes some time and some dedication. And while this isn't going to meet, you're not going to have complete free time to just do this, we've really broken it down pretty simply for you. So with this basic mailer, it'll let you contact a customer base or a lead base and provide different offers. You can throw in different coupon codes for special discounts, whether it's a time-limited discount, uh, a limited number of uses. You know, first hundred users to use this code get a you know, 50% discount, things like that. Uh, it's really quite flexible. And that's just a basic look through the mailer. Uh, also, the content management system, you don't have to get too deep into this for right now, but it lets you change some metadata. So if those of you who want to go through a little more uh, SEO integration and detail, you can control that. Uh, it also gives us a nice little hit counter, so we see how many people have visited this, uh, different layout control, and then a real simple visual editor, or you can go straight to the code. So it lets you be pretty flexible, and there's a full file manager in here, so you can upload different files, studies, uh, subscription forms, anything, anything you like, really. And to that, I'll, I'll put us back to our presentation. So these are all the things you're getting with the program. And the whole goal of the program was you have one vendor that will allow you to provide an end-to-end -end backup solution from the cloud to mobile devices, laptops, workstations, and now servers. Uh, not only at a file and folder level, but at a system image or application level. This gives you a full backup strategy. And risk management is very important, especially when times are tough because your business is less flexible to react to the damages caused by certain risks. So user error, hardware failure, all these things are included in a true backup solution, which is why we had the sample risk registry there on the website. Um, are there any questions on anything that Derek just went over? Um, we know that there's a lot of stuff in this program, and we want to make sure that it's all making sense and coming together for you. So please feel free to submit questions, and I'll move on to some competitive information. This is a simple grid showing how server save, SOS for business, and SOS for home stack up against Carbonite and Mosey. Um, server save is obviously a, a, a full SMB enterprise solution that takes care of end-to-end -end backup uh, for any business of truly any size. Once you get up to a certain size, obviously those companies are probably going to have their own data centers, but um, within reason, there's a huge amount of opportunity for you. We've got a couple questions. Um, Andre says, what about printed material? 
Um, I think maybe you mean collateral type material for you to go out and sell our, our product. Um, that is absolutely available in what we call the Partner Resource Center. There are sales presentations, marketing templates, there's even templates for email um, that you could use in the web integration package that Derek just showed you. And this is, of course, available to you too once you contact your partner specialist. Um, Derek says, great job. Will this presentation be available afterwards? Yes. You will receive an email with the link to this presentation. Um, if you just want the PowerPoint, you can definitely get that from your partner specialist. Yeah, or even if you just go to managedonlinebackup.com, it is a, a lot.